founder of Seller Assistant. And Seller Assistant is a tool for Amazon sellers who do online arbitrage and who sell on Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to test uh, test live streams and show show how can seller how Seller Assistant can help Amazon sellers who do online arbitrage and um, wholesale on Amazon, uh, how how this tool can speed up Amazon product research routine. And I'm going to show a live demo of our new feature, uh, our new tool, uh, which uh, is under development. This is a price list analyzer. And price list analyzer help Amazon sellers automate their product research routine. Uh, first of all, um, a lot of sellers who try to grow from online arbitrage to wholesale or uh, who are already doing wholesale facing the same issue. They they need to analyze hundreds, even thousands products they get from their suppliers. And if you if you do like, like if you analyze products um, manually, usually use a Chrome extension, seller assistant extension, or something else, and you go from Amazon, like you open Amazon product page, analyze products and try to find the supplier. But if you are a seller, if you get the price list, you need to upload your price list somehow and uh, automatically match products from the supp uh, supplier's price list with the products on Amazon. And moreover, then you need to get some calculations to know if these products are profitable. So to address this uh, issue, we developed Price List Analyzer. Price List Analyzer allows you to upload price list, match the products, and get calculations. So how does it work? So first of all, you need to have an Amazon Seller account connected with Seller Assistant. It's very important because um, if you have Amazon account connected, we can get some specific data for your account. For example, we can check if you can sell a product or not. So um, then you need to uh, go to Seller Assistant and open Price List Analyzer tool, click Upload button, and choose your price list from your supplier. I have one here. Then click Open, then uh, click Next. And this is very important step to match the products with the uh, Amazon products, you need to map columns. Uh, this price list have uh, various columns, but we need the product with identifiers, uh, which is UPC or EIN. We, we just choose uh, UPC here. And also we need the column with the prices. Uh, we have a unit price column, which is right here. So then I click analyze price list. And this is where the magic happens. The, the system uploads your price list to the backend and um, start, uh, start matching products. Let's wait for, for a minute uh, while it's done. So how does it work? We have a list uh, of products in your price list and we get uh, UPCs and looking for uh, corresponding products on Amazon automatically. Once we find the corresponding product, uh, we uh, run our calculation on the backend and we take into account uh, a lot of data. For example, um, analyzing price list, we, uh, we, we, we use uh, your cost settings in price list analyzer right here and apply these settings to the products in the price list. For example, you can see that we use uh, prep and labeling costs uh, equal to $1. And also we have a shipping costs, uh, $1 per pound. All these costs are applied to your products. Also, you can set some your uh, shipping splits, uh, inbound placement fees configuration, hazmat, uh, other size product fees, like uh, bubble wrapping for, for, uh, for products, which is like fragile, right? So that's it. Um, by the way, the, our price list uh, already been analyzed and now um, the system generating a final spreadsheet you can download to use. So let's wait for it. 
So the spreadsheet is ready to, for download and you can click and download your final uh, final price list with uh, all the calculation, calculations. So how does it work? So this is what we get from uh, from the Amazon, and this is your original code right here in the in the. Um, we have a lot of products found by uh, Solar System. We have their uh, titles, Asians, Asians profitability, and etc. Also, some products are highlighted. Uh, we'll check it. And. Um, some products have warnings like like, like this. I'll, I'll explain a little bit later with it and how it works. So, but but now uh, I think it's better to uh, start working with price price list itself right here. You can click open it and you will see a list of the products. There are a lot of products, three thousand four hundred. Um, Actually, we need to narrow down them somehow, and uh, we have a great feature for that. We have a quick filters. Like you can set to show only profitable products right here. We click set. Let's say we want to see only the products that generate at least one dollar or, or at least one dollar right here. Okay. And now we have only five hundred sixty-four products. Let 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 narrow down down it even more. Okay, I want to avoid products with Amazon in the buy box. I don't want to see Amazon in my box. Five hundred twelve. Now I want to avoid hazmat, meltable, and products with variations, for example, stuff like that. So now we have only three hundred eighty five products. Uh, also, I see here products without brands or product with a generic brand. I know exactly that Amazon doesn't does not allow allow you to sell products, generic products, if you never sell them before. So let's um, let's filter them out. I click filters and go to brand filter. By the way, this is a very um, a very powerful uh, set of filters. You can use it to filter any products you want. I go to brands and select all except um, generic. So this one. Now we have 354 uh, products. So also I want to um, filter out some products with warnings. Uh, we have a list of warnings right here. By the way, I want to bring them um, somewhere, somewhere here. So let's uh, let's bring warnings um, next to title, like, like this. So I don't want to see products which have uh, set or bundles or if by ROI exceed 200%. Um, let's filter them out. Warnings. I don't want the, those products. Low and high ROI. Okay. And AZ is not fun. Um, So what's next? We have a list of products, um, but we need to know exactly if we can sell them or not. To do so, uh, we need to check uh, check restrictions for those products for, for our seller account. Uh, we have a column for restrictions. The column is here, restrictions. I, I want to bring it like I did it before with the warnings. Yeah, this is it. So let's check if we can sell this product or not. To do so, click here to select all products and click check restrictions. 
the system start working. Uh, it's very important to have your Amazon seller account connected to check restrictions specifically for your seller account. If if your uh, if your Amazon account is not connected, we cannot access account related data, and we can uh, we can't check uh, this information for you. But once you uh, connect your seller account, you'll be able to check it. And this is it. One moment, minute, please. By the way, uh, you can also configure not only the filters, but also the columns you want to see or you want to skip. For example, I don't want to see uh, average buy box for 30 days and 180 days. I want to skip sell run drops for 90 days and 180 days. And I configure this view as I want. Average by box price for, for 90 days, for example. Average by SAR for 90 days. Amazon uh, for 90 days. The fees, storage fees, stuff like that, okay? So what we have right now, um, we have a lot of products check it for our ability to be sold on Amazon. And now let's filter them out. I click filters. Ah, uh, actually we have a quick, uh, quick filter for restriction right here. I click here and choose eligible to sell. And this is where the magic happens. Now we have only 53 products, which is filtered for uh for us uh, and all these product we can sell on amazon on our seller account so um let's uh let's download them we can have selected them and we just can create click export and uh, download all these file, files for uh, all these products for us like this one now we can work uh, with uh, with this spreadsheet and uh, choose products we want to buy. Also, if you uh, if you decide, like for example, we can like them. I, I put the like, and uh, then when uh, uh, when I open the product next time, uh, the like will be here. Uh, also, it's very convenient to save uh, save your filters as a preset at the, at the view. Uh, let me do so. I uh, I have a product set right here. A filter supplied. Uh, comps are configured, so I click create view and set something like that. Uh, profitable. Um, non not. No, not generic, and uh, and that's it. I click save. Also, I want to um, oh, non generic, and also I need to add uh, that these products are allowed to sell, non -rest not restricted, not. Also, I want to check the product that um, that require approval to sell on Amazon. How to do so? Uh, it's very easy. I just need to change my filters and click approval required and remove this uh, flag from here. So now I have a list of products which is require approval to start selling on Amazon. And it can be saved at, as another view. Yeah, I click, create, click save and create new view and click here um, and save it as restricted. Uh, this is another list you can use to um, find the products uh, for yourself, like, like this. So every time you open, every, every time you open the product list, uh, price list again, you will be see, uh, able to apply these uh, filters for, for your future use. Our main idea is to give you a tool which help you to focus on only on, on those products uh, 
that are worth selling on Amazon. And it's very important to be able to filter out all, all the noise from the price lists. Also in the next few features we're going to release is, uh, will be like, also we're going to release the new features. Uh, next time we're going to release uh, a tool which allows you to record and connect suppliers to your price list and create the purchase orders. And uh, once you analyze the price list and the price list slider, you will be create, uh, will be able to create a purchase order orders based on the on the your analysis. And also, we are going to add ability to um, to tag products with custom tags for future use. And also, you will be able to do some inline calculations. For example, if you find that uh, specific pro product on the price list will cost you a little bit more or you negotiated a discount and you will be able to change the cost of goods and get your calculations uh, done for you right in the price list. So um, this is what we are working right now and I hope this video helped you to uh, to move faster and find much more profitable products for reselling on Amazon. By the way, one more features I forgot to tell you about warnings. Uh, we also highlight some products which uh, have some uh, some warnings. For example, we highlight with the yellow products with no buy box price, with no EB fees, or with no cost of goods. Uh, restricted products, products which require approval uh, for for selling on Amazon. And also uh, we have a few warnings for products with too low FB ROI and too high FB ROI. Uh, last two uh, warnings are marker for products with brands or bundles. So if you spot products with too uh, low FB ROI or too high FB ROI, maybe you need to dive deeper and check them for, you know, uh, for quantity or case quantity and package quantity and match them with the Amazon information. So, um, I think this is it for now. Uh, stay, uh, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to ask me any question and uh, I will happy to help you. Have a good day and try seller assistant Try seller assistant price list analyzer. It really works well and will help you to run your Amazon business. Have a good day.